Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be working on the fingers, these finger plates. By doing this, I'm going to put it into this groove here, take a steel form that's rounded, roughly the shape I need, and I'm going to hammer it in there. Okay, and that will give me my shape. So let's quickly go through a couple of them. And voila! All of them are done. Well, I hope that's all of them. So this is a nice, quick and easy method. Um, probably a little bit more... not as fine as what they would do, um, you know, in their armories. But it gets the job done. If I carry on making these and I get enough orders for these, I will improve this method and make more of a... a more industrial method of doing this. So let's move on to the next next part of this one. So now I'm going to be working on the the knuckles. So these will go over there. They go over the knuckles. So now I've got a little groove inside the stump, which I'm going to form these in. Now, going back to like the previous one with the fingers, I don't have a sort of more industrial method of making these. I will make a spur, uh, certain tools to make this. I'm just using what I have at the moment. So, for all of those people who do work with uh, uh, blacksmithing and metalwork and so on, who do, or anyone that uses hammers, and then I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. So, I please ask because I'm about to perform blacksmithing sacrilege. So, for all of you that might know what I'm about to do, please look away or do not judge on how I'm going to make these knuckle pieces. All right. So I'm giving you a few moments, a few seconds. I will then let you know when I'm going to start. That's once my, my friend over here gets out the way. Right. Okay. Okay, so I've given you enough time. I'm going for it. All right, I must excuse you. You've just got a whole bunch of dog in your way. Get off we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so there's the knuckle plates that are formed, sort of roughly formed. I will go refine them up a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to work on the cuff pieces. This is a relatively simple one. This is a bit of fluting just to increase the strength. 
So what I'm going to use is a cold chisel to mark that line. This cold chisel, I don't know if I mentioned before, I've rounded it so it's not sharp because I'm going to use it for the fluting. You start off on that side at a bit of an angle to set the start. Right, and then you just follow the line. It is relatively simple. I call it fluting. Many people call it fluting. Uh, the other, the I suppose the technical term for it would be creasing instead. There we go. It's all done. So it's quite simple. Just what I'm going to do now, this is obviously a bit more of a tight curve. I just added that crease there because it increases the strength because now you won't be able to bend it along that thing. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. Like that because I don't want it to be so bent. But even though I flatten it out, it's still going to be quite strong because of that crease that's in there. So I can't bend it very easily. <clears throat> adds quite a bit of strength that's just pretty much a, a strengthening rib All right so there's those done okay so carrying on with the the knuckle section uh, First draw out your lines for where you're going to do the fluting or the creasing in it. And this might seem a little simple, but I've made this mistake far too many times. Is mark out which side you're using. Because I've already made the left hand side, so I want this to be the right hand side. I've made that mistake so many times, you start hammering and you started hammering on the wrong side. So, very important just to mark it out. It sounds simple, but you will see sometimes, you know, you focus on getting something right you forget which side to use so I'm going to be starting off with uh, dishing the points for your knuckles and then smoothing off doing the creasing and then some creasing on the outside so there we go so let's start with these pieces again I'm going to be doing a bit of sacrilege but just bear with me Okay, so that's sitting there. So there's the nice knuckles, fit over my knuckles quite nicely. So yeah, um, one thing I must advise, you will find, then this you'll learn. So if you're going to start hammering, make sure it's flat with the, what you're hammering it on. If you find that it's slightly up and you hammer it, you're going to get a lot of shock into your hand because it's going to all of a sudden twist to be flat. So just make sure that it's flat you know there's no movement otherwise if it's slightly high and you hammer it's going to cut into your hand quite a bit and you're going to get quite a bit of shock into your hand it's not very pleasant so just make sure of that okay so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting in the creases along here so these will run along the, the knuckles one nice thing that i've noticed about 
your your hand is that your main finger here in this knuckle tends to run down the middle of your hand or not down the middle of your hand but that sort of lines up nicely with your your arm so i suggest definitely starting with this knuckle if you're designing the piece that should run up the center of your hand if you hold your hand straight first crease set in. With this design you will see the crease doesn't run the full length of the, the knuckle plate. It runs about just over halfway um, and then it flattens out a little bit. It's fine you can run a little bit longer and then start smoothing it out. Right, so there we go. You will notice that this really does warp the piece considerably, but that's fine. You will flatten out, smooth it out. But there we go. So just smoothing it out, merging it in. That's where we'll move off to next. Right, so there we go. Sorry if my voice doesn't sound great. I'm suffering from the flu. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I've already had the flu. So yeah, I've got a knuckle plate that's nearly there yeah let's move on to the next stage okay so what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be rounding the edge off over this stake over here it's a nice round edge so i'm going to put it there smooth out the creases on the knuckles just give the knuckles some nice shape So now I've got a nice bit of smoothing just over the front of it. And then I'll move on to giving a better crease there now. <laughs> okay, so now I've moved to the flat section of the stake. I'm going to now start creasing it. You'll see I've got a nice crease going down the center here. Don't worry about the marks that will come out in polishing. 
Right. Right, so there we go, there's all the nice creases set out.